Hey Village, so I'm coming to you today with my wet mop because today Miss A and I are going to be doing some clothes shopping for her. Every quarter we use the $200 clothing uh, reimbursement from our agency um, and that allows her to get some fresh looks um, to maybe replace some items that she's either grown out of or have been worn so much. Um, and for a teenager, you know, clothes is a little bit more expensive um, if you're shopping pretty much anywhere. So you can get maybe like three outfits out of it um, or, you know, if you're throwing in a pair of shoes or something like that, it can really go quickly. So we look forward to those quarterly um, shopping sprees as we call them, <laughs> but um, this is actually going to be our last one. And I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. Right now I'm going to head out and get my hair taken care of. I'm going to go to a fancy place called Great Clips, get a little bit of a trim uh, before we head out to go shopping. All right, so we just finished up at the mall. Found a few things, we'll see those bags. Found some cute stuff. Still have some things to shop for, like jean shorts, new bathing suit, because the pool will open eventually. How much did we spend of the 200? 77. Only 77. So we still got some money to spend and some clothes to find. But we did pretty good. Yeah. All right, we're back from the mall. Shopped at three different stores. There were a few we went into that we didn't really find anything. We were looking for pretty specific looks, good summer looks. So tank tops, crop tops, stuff that's light. I feel like camis, since they get worn so much, they go like these, yeah. Cute little crop tops. Are all of these crop tops? Yes. Oh my goodness, this girl it's, likes- It's the summer. It is the summer. It hot. Look at how cute. See, she's got a brand. Like This is her mm -hmm. brand. Crop top, simple. Stuff that can go with your shoes, right? Mm -hmm. It's got to go with the shoes. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, of the 200, we spent 77. So, we still have room to do some more shopping. So, we're going to hit up. Uh, we have a Target by us with a TJ Maxx and a Kohl's. Um, so, I think we need to get some more uh, shorts and a swimsuit, like we mentioned before. But also what came in the mail is Miss A's second stitch fix. And this time, I think there were more styles that you liked. We're not having this part come out of her $200 um, clothing allowance, but these are some super cute jeans and they fit really well, don't they? Like those are just really stylish. Also, we're not gonna do a full fashion show this time. You said you like this color, right? Yeah. So this shirt she really, really liked, and then this shirt she really liked, but the price point is just like a little high, so we knew we would be able to find some stuff um, at the store, and if we didn't find stuff at the store, we could always um, still keep these. And she actually liked this, which I was surprised by, because it's super like flowery, kind of like that blue one that people, people loved your blue tank top from last time. I think it was- they loved it. I think I liked that one because it was black, and I felt like I could match it with like yeah. my, shoes with the blue one i don't i couldn't match it when the and it was too, my like, back bright. was all out it oh, was okay. bright like this this is cute. and i felt like that one would fit better yeah so we might still we might still get a couple of these and then there was this shirt that kind of missed i think it's a super cute shirt but um yeah a little bit of a miss and then a pair of earrings so pretty good stitch fix box i'll be honest i don't think i oh yeah Really simple. I think the price point was just a little too high on these. But no, they're getting better. I feel like the boxes get better as you keep kind of having them learn what you like. So we've got some more shopping to do. So if you want to give Stitch Fix a try, uh, we're going to put Miss A's referral code in the description. Um, so when you uh, get your first Stitch Fix and then you check out, um, her account is going to get a credit so she can you know, pick out some nice stuff. So thank you for all of you who have done that in the past, which is awesome. And like I mentioned before, so this is actually the last time we're gonna have like a formal kind of shopping spree where she is able to have that $200 budget where um, that full amount is gonna be reimbursed 
for the clothing allowance. So we talked about this in another video when John and I were, uh, you know, picking our agency um, in which we were going to um, continue our foster journey. Our first decision was really what county we were gonna, you know, foster in. So we actually live in Warren County, which is kind of in the suburbs of Cincinnati. And um, there is a need in Warren County, but the need is greater in Hamilton County, which is where, you know, kind of like the Metro Cincinnati is. And so first we made the decision, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, let's get licensed in Hamilton County because the need is greater right now. From there, we had to decide on what agency we were gonna go with. And for us, you know, originally we were looking to foster when we were, you know, kind of years down the road, maybe once we didn't have like student loan debt, um, maybe a little bit more established, but you know, we're financially secure. And so we knew we could make it happen. We just wanted to make sure that uh, we were gonna be able to provide everything we possibly could to the kiddos who come into our home um, and that it wouldn't put us in any kind of a financial hardship by doing that. So uh, who we found, we found an agency who was really well connected in the community. Um, they had a really good uh, caseworker to kid ratio, which is really important because you get, you know, quicker responses, you know, keep quicker, you know, texts and phone calls back. Um, they really advocate for you as a foster family, but also the kid who's in, who's in your care. And of course, that's really important to us. They also put on events for the families and the kids. They're always finding different ways is to you know get the kids involved in different things like camps depending on what age the kid is and on top of that they also had different uh, reimbursements so they had a separate reimbursement for clothing a separate reimbursement for normalcy which for us we are able to use opportunities to get an amusement park pass for the kid um, you know different activities that they can be involved in sports um, you know all sorts of things that would count as like normalcy and then also what was really important to us us, um, with that financial hardship is that they were able to reimburse for mileage for visitations and doctor visits. So because we're out in the suburbs, that mileage was really important because we knew we would be doing a lot of driving back and forth, a lot of gas money, a lot of wear and tear on the car. And so the mileage was, you know, really, really nice that we knew that, you know, no matter what the visit uh, schedule was going to look like, uh, we wouldn't have to worry. Recently, I think it was in this last week, a communication went out saying that there were going to be changes to the reimbursement and the per diem for um, families at our agency. So first they said that clothing reimbursement, normalcy reimbursement, and mileage, all gone. Totally gone. <laughs> so no more of that. And what they would do instead is they would increase the per diem um, and change the structure. So previously, um, the per diem at this agency was based on age. So the rate would be slightly higher depending on the age group. Um, now they're going to more of a traditional structure where it's based on the level of care needed for the child. So you have a traditional child um, with you know maybe minimal or non-existent behavioral issues, um, then like level two, level three, and then I believe there's like a therapeutic or a special needs level. Um, so they went to that structure and then adjusted the per diem um, to be slightly higher um, in those areas. How that translates to us is that Actually, at the end of the day, our reimbursement and our per diem is actually going to be decreasing now. Um, obviously, we are financially stable, so we're not gonna take a huge hit, but the hit that we are gonna experience the most is the mileage because we live so far out. And luckily, I was able to talk with the director of our agency and express my concern for this um, because what this means is that, you know, once Miss A is reunified with her parents um, and we are awaiting a another placement, we're now going to be thinking about, do we want to stay in Hamilton County? Do we want to stay with this agency? Or do we want to go ahead and transfer our license to Warren County, someplace that's a little bit closer so we're not traveling as far um, to get the kids to visitations, doctors, all that sort of thing. So it just kind of changes things up. We still know that we made the right decision for the agency that we selected. Um, it just was a little bit of a shock because, you know, our family, we budget it appropriately. Um, we keep track of everything. And so this just changes things. So what this means is that, you know, Miss A obviously is not going to want for anything. Um, you know, she is still going to get the things that fall under normalcy. She's still going to get clothing when she needs it. Um, we've made it very clear to her that, you know, none of that would ever change. 
it's just gonna look a little different where we're not gonna set aside $200 and say, hey, here's your $200 budget. It's more gonna be on an as needed basis or if she wants to just kind of get a new outfit, um, you know, around back to school time or depending on how long she's here, you know, during the changes of the season to make sure that she has a wardrobe that fits her, that's comfortable and that's in good condition. So if you're early on in your uh, foster journey or adoption journey, um, make sure you are asking the right questions to the agencies because this is the kind of stuff that, you know, yes, they have the freedom to change. Um, and so you're never really gonna know, but you should definitely be asking what resources they currently offer so that you can best support the kids. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, bye.